Hey everybody, welcome to the Nano Channel. I am Dano and I'm back with another artsy fartsy shoe painting video. This time, as you've probably seen by the title, it's going to be centered around Lady and the Tramp. And I also want to share with you a couple little tips about lighting in your painting. Now these tips are meant for beginners. I'm no expert, but I just wanted to pass along my knowledge to you guys. Are you ready to learn? Are you ready to watch? Let's do it! Okay, to start off this design, what I do is I take a little bit of ultramarine blue and some titanium white, and I actually cover the whole surface of the front of the shoe. Everywhere I'm going to be painting is first off covered with a nice thick layer of paint, just so I don't have to worry about all those little hairs. An alternate method, if you don't want to paint the whole surface, is to take a lighter to it and burn those little hairs off. Again, kids, if you're doing this, ask your parents for help. Don't play with lighters. But, um... Other than that, I'm going to get started here on Lady, and as I'm getting started, one thing I want to point out and really watch here is the use of yellows. Like, light yellows are going to be more towards the left of her face, and the darker colors are going to be more towards the right of her face, and the reason is because there's going to be a candle on that left shoe where my hand's covering. There's going to be a candle. That's our source of light. So, as she's looking towards that candle, we want to make sure that everything in this actually, you know facing the candle is glowing a little bit more than everything not facing the candle. This is just one little way to kind of help elevate your paintings a little bit if you keep that in mind. Now see, I'm, I'm not putting yellow on the outside, it's actually a light blue. So it kind of matches more with the night sky on the right side of her, but the left side of her facing the candle has this yellow glow. Now as I start this shoe with Tramp on it, I do a similar thing. Now he's not as much of a yellow dog, he's more of a gray-brown color, but I do really try to pay attention as to which parts are going to be lighter versus which are going to be darker, especially in his face. In fact, this first time as I'm painting his face, I don't like how it comes out, and I end up painting over it. You'll see in just a second, once I get the eyeballs in and I start playing around with it, I just don't like the shape of it. It looks a little weird. He looks a little too young almost, and he's kind of a scruffy dog. So sometimes you just have to scrap it and start all over. So you'll see here in just a second, his whole face, there it is, his whole face is completely just blotched over because I didn't like the way it came out. So I ended up repainting it and making it the way I wanted. Now here I'm gonna add that little strand of spaghetti. Again, I did a, a darker side and finished it off with the lighter portion. And to end off the shoe, what I like to do is take a little bit of light blue and I put little blotches of light blue and then I get my titanium white and I fill it in to give those stars kind of a glow. It's a nice way to make stars and make them look a little more realistic. All right, guys, here they are, the Lady and the Tramp shoes and all their beautiful, glowy, starry night glory. I hope you guys enjoyed the tips on lighting just to kind of make them pop a little bit more. Again, these are not for experts. People who are experts already know this stuff. This is for people who are just getting started. I know a lot of you ask me questions about how to do certain things. So as I go through the rest of the year, I'm going to actually be painting a lot more shoes, working with you guys. So as I paint them, I'm going to be recording myself and thinking of little tips to share with those of you who want to try painting on your own. Another thing I've done is I've thrown up my little concept image where I took the movie poster and put it over a picture of shoes. You can find that over at dano.net. It's what I personally use as a reference when painting. So if you guys want to download that image and use it as your own reference when trying this pair, have at it. I'm just here to share with you guys and maybe inspire you to do some yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Be sure to hit that thumbs up if you learned something new. If you're new around here, hit subscribe. I'd love to have you. I do all kinds of different videos from shoe paintings, toy unboxings, weird vlogs about my house, or just Disney news, whatever. It's different all the time. I'm always doing something different and new here on the Dano channel, and I would love to have you. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Standing in the